In this video, I'm going to show you the three ways that you can watch and manage your wireless IP security camera from CCTV Camera World. CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchase your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, we're focusing on the Wi-Fi cameras that are available from our premium series, in which case you can take advantage of the PC software, the mobile viewing app on your iPhone or Android, or you can watch the camera and manage it directly from a wired or wireless NVR. So first, I'm going to show how to find the IP address of your camera in your local network using a Windows computer. To do this, I'm going to use the config tool software, which I already have installed on my computer. If you don't have the software, you will want to go to our blog and find the article, How to Find Your IP Camera on the Network, and the link to that software will be in that guide. This software is also referenced in the guide that this video is going into. So you want to click on that link, download the software, and install it into your computer, and then open the software. So when you open the software, it's going to search your network for active devices. And then if you're on a different network scheme, then you will need to go to the search setting button at the top and make sure that you select the other segment search option and then enter in the segment for your camera. My segment is correct, so I'm clicking OK. And it's going to search my network for those devices here. So IPC stands for IP camera. So this is my wireless camera in my network, and this is its IP address, 192.168.1.198. Your camera will have a different IP address depending on if you set it yourself or which IP address that your router provided to the camera. So again, you're going to want to make sure that you write this down or remember it or enter it into a notepad. Mine happens to be, again, 192.168.1.198, and yours will be different. So now I'm going to go over to my NVR. Now keep in mind that this is my NVR using a mouse and monitor or television. So first I'm going to right click on the grid screen, click the main menu option. It's going to ask me to log in using the graphical user password. The default password can be found on a label on the top of your NVR or DVR. After logging in, I need to go to the camera setting under the bottom left hand side of the and VR. Then I need to go to the camera list page. So although this is a wired NVR, I'm able to search the network and find the camera over the network. So if I click the search device button and then I sort the IP addresses, I can see that the address is here. So I could either double click on this camera to bring it in, click the checkbox and click the add button, or I'm going to show you the manual add option using the IP address that you found using the config tool. So first click manual add. Since I have the camera selected, it automatically entered in the IP address. But of course, if you don't have it entered, you will need to manually type it using the on-screen keyboard. So I demonstrated that. And now you do need to enter in the password for your camera. If you're unsure what the password is, then you need to check the label on the top of the camera's box for the current password. If you change the password, then of course you'll need to enter the password that you've changed it to. So I'm entering the default password. After you've entered in the default password or the password that you set, you can either click the connect button or click the OK button. So after clicking the OK button, it's going to use this IP address, that username and password to log into the camera. So the status here went from a red circle to a green circle, indicating that my camera is now connected. To get back to the live view to see if my camera is streaming to my NVR, I can come up to the top and click the live button, or I can simply right click on my mouse. So right clicking on my mouse takes me to the main menu, and then I need to right click once more to get back to the live grid screen. Here we can see the camera is now streaming and recording on my NVR. So next, I'm going to show you the PC software. So back over here on my Windows computer, I'm going to go ahead and minimize the config tool software and then open up the PC software by double clicking. So it may prompt you to log in if you do not have the auto login option selected, in which case you will need to enter in the username and password you set up when you installed the software. This software can be found by going to www.cctvcamera.com 
forward slash CM software. That's CM as in camera monitoring software. After installing and setting up the software, you will be greeted with the devices page. In which case, once again, you can take advantage of the auto search button if you're on the same network as your camera. Or I want to show you the manual add option by clicking the add button. So here you're going to give the device a name. I'm going to name mine Wi-Fi camera. Then you need to type in the IP address that you have for your camera. Again, mine is 192.168.1.198. Now you need to enter in the same username and password. If you have an NVR that you entered into the NVR, once again, if you don't have that password, consult the label on the top of your camera's box. So I'm entering that password. So once again, you need to give it a name, enter in the IP address, enter in the username, last but not least, enter in the password. Leave the default port as three quadruple seven, unless you're an advanced user who has changed the port. So click the add button after you verify that all of this information is correct. And just like the NVR, there is an online status that tells me that this camera is online and the software was successfully able to connect to it. To view the footage from my camera, the live view, I need to click the plus button in the software and then click on the live view under operation. Here it lists my camera as the Wi-Fi camera, which is the name that I gave it. So I can either double click the camera or I can click and drag with my mouse and put it into the grid screen. So if I click and drag into any of these grid screens, it will now pull the video from my camera. And then to stop the video, I can click the X at the top right hand side of the grid that the video is playing in. Last but not least is the iPhone or Android app. Here I just so happen to be on an iPhone and I'm going to go ahead and open the app. If this is your first time opening the app, you may have to agree to a few options such as allowing it to use your camera, allowing it to use the storage on your phone, and allowing it to search the network for devices. I've already used the app, so I didn't get any of those, but like I mentioned, you would tap allow for most of those options. Here, I do have a device added. It happens to be the NVR that I was just working with. However, if I wanted to add this camera as a separate standalone device, or if I didn't have an NVR and needed to add the camera, then I could do so by tapping the plus icon at the top right hand side of the app, choosing the IP slash domain option, choosing the wireless camera option. Once again, typing in the IP address. Mine is 192.168.1.198. Give it a name once more. I'll just name it Wi-Fi camera. And then enter in the password. So I'm entering in the password. My iPhone might not show my keyboard here, but I am entering in this password. And then after you verify that all of the information here is correct in your app, you would tap the save icon at the top right hand side. And it was able to pull up the video from my camera. So last but not least, you can also use the QR code from your camera to access it via the software or mobile app. So if you were to do that, you would need to find your P2P code in your web interface of your camera. I'll quickly show how to do that. Or if you've added it using the IP address in the PC software, you can simply use the SN here. So while I'm in the PC software, I'll show that I can simply click the add button, choose the method to add to be SN or P2P, give it a name and call it Wi-Fi camera away, away meaning that it's connected to my modem or router and I can use the serial number to access it remotely and then type in that serial number. So I've transcribed the serial number or SN from my IP address entry and typed it into the SN field for the method to add SN. One last time, I do need to enter in the username and password and then click the add button. So since it's going through the internet, it may take a few more moments to actually connect to the camera using the internet. You noticed after a few moments, it did successfully connect. 
So now I have a Wi-Fi camera entry for when I'm in my local network using the local IP address. And then I have a second entry called Wi-Fi camera away that's using the P2P serial number code for when I'm away from the location where the camera is. So the last thing I'll do is show you how to find the QR code to scan into your phone. So you would type the IP address for your camera into a web browser. I, here I'm using Microsoft Edge. Hit the enter key after typing in the IP address. The login using the username and password. Click on the setting tab at the top. Once you're in the settings page, click the network tab and then the access platform submenu. Inside of the access submenu, you'll find your serial number here which you again could type into your PC software if you haven't done so already or going back to my phone I'm gonna to go to the device page tap the plus icon tap on SN slash scan and then actually scan the code directly from my computer monitor now it says to please enter a security code our cameras do not have security codes so you're gonna tap next through this menu you're going to once again choose the wireless camera device type, give it a name. So I'm going to name it away this time once more because it is in a way entry, meaning that this entry will work regardless of if I'm on location or if I'm away from the location. So one last time, type in the password. And then once you've verified that this information is accurate, tap the save button at the top right hand side of the app. It says it will be used under a non-account. You can either leave UPnP enabled or disable it. It's not going to make too much of a difference. I'm going to leave it enabled because it says it can improve the transmission speed. So I'm clicking or tapping the completed button. So now my away Wi-Fi camera entry is working. So I could view this camera on my data connection on my iPhone. Hopefully this video helps you add the camera to your favorite platform and view it either using the local IP address or the remote P2P QR code. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.